In this video, we are going to see a mesh analysis problem number four, in which we are going to see how to apply a mesh analysis to a problem with a combination of dependent and independent sources. So here is the problem. We are supposed to get a mesh currents I1, I2, I3 for the circuit where there are two dependent sources given and the dependent sources are nothing but current controlled voltage sources. So let's mark I1, I2, I3 mesh currents like this. Based on the current flowing, we will have the voltage drop across register in this manner. So this is because of I1. And these drops are because of I2 in the mesh 2. And for I3, we are having two voltage drops in this manner. So let's apply KVL to mesh 1. Let's start from the voltage source. So we'll have a minus plus, which is plus phi, plus minus, minus one multiplied by I1. So I'll write minus I1, plus minus, minus IY, plus minus, minus I1, and minus plus, this is because of I2. So plus I2, and we have completed our journey. So equal to 0. Over here, IY is the variable which we have not marked. So we need to have a replacement for this. So what we will have? We will have a substitution equation. So if you see carefully, where is IY? So over here, they have given IY like this and Ix like this. So if you see carefully, Iy is nothing but this branch current. This branch current consists of two loop currents, I2 and I3 in opposite direction. Iy is given in a downward direction and I2 is flowing in downward direction. So we can say Iy is matching with I2. In order to simplify this equation, we will have a substitution for Iy as Iy equal to I2 minus I3. Remember, substitution equation arises due to circuit condition. So, in circuit, Iy is given in this direction, I2 is matching with that direction, hence I2 is dominating. Hence, we will have ultimately Iy as I2 minus I3. Let's substitute this. So, what we will have over here as a final equation? phi minus i1 minus bracket i2 minus i3 as i y minus i1 plus i2 equal to 0. Let's simplify. So this phi minus i1 minus i2 plus i3 minus i1 plus i2 equal to 0. If you see carefully, minus i2 plus i2 get cancelled and after simplifying I will get equation minus 2 i1 plus i3 equal to minus 5 as equation number 1. Let's go ahead and apply KVL to mesh 2. So let's simplify. Let's apply KVL over here plus minus 
सो इट्स माइनस आई टू प्लस माइनस वोल्टेज रिप्रेजेंटेड एज माइनस आई एक्स प्लस माइनस माइनस आई टू माइनस प्लस प्लस आई थ्री प्लस माइनस माइनस आई टू माइनस प्लस प्लस आई वन माइनस प्लस प्लस आई वाई इक्वल टू जीरो और यह वी नीड अ सब्सिडेशन फॉर आई एक्स एंड आई वाई आई वाई वी हैव ऑलरेडी रिप्रेजेंटेड आई एक्स इज दिस करंट एंड दिस करंट इज मैचिंग विद आई वन सो सब्सिडेशन इक्वेशन फॉर आई एक्स विल बी I x is nothing but I one. So now we will have two substitution, which will give us minus I two minus I one. For I x we have substituted I one, then minus I two plus I three minus I two. Plus I one instead of I Y, I will substitute I two minus I three equal to zero. If you see carefully, minus I two plus I two get cancelled. Over here, plus I three minus I three get cancelled. Minus I one plus I one. Also get cancelled in the end. What we will get is minus two times i two equal to zero. This implies i two as zero ampere. So we get answer for i two straight away as zero ampere. One of the mesh current. Now let's go ahead with the mesh three. Fortunately, in a mesh three, we are having a current source, which will decide the mesh current value for mesh number three. The only thing is that the direction of this one ampere and the direction of mesh current I three are opposite. Hence, I can say, being a current source as a part of a mesh, we can say directly I three as minus one ampere. So we can say. I three as minus one ampere because current source is present in the mesh number three, so no need to apply K waves to mesh three. So now out of the three mesh current. Two mesh current value we got I two as zero ampere, I three as minus one ampere. From equation one, if I substitute the value of I three, I will get the value of I one also. So from equation one, minus two I one plus minus one is the value of I three equal to minus five. So if you simplify this, we will get minus two I one. As minus four, which will give us I one as two ampere. So what we got over here, the mesh current as I one as two ampere, I two as zero ampere, I three as minus one ampere. So in this problem, we have solved three meshes successfully. With the two dependent sources, just applying the concept of mesh analysis and substitution equations wherever required. Thank you.